Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play the limited uh, story quest. Sounds from afar. There is yeah, a ballad, some bruise, act 1, 2, 3. I'm going to play act 1 in this video. Eh? I heard it wasn't that long, so I'll just, uh, just play act 1, see how is it. Guess we're going back to Morton's dad. What's this about? Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. I was nothing. The last couple of days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. When we heard that you were short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Huh? Why is that? That's right. This oh, is the season. ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top-quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well, no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main Gee. hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late. Hey! Wait up! Uh, why do those two oh, yeah? <laughs> look so flustered? What happened? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Kaya! Just the person we need! Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Favonia's headquarters all of a sudden? Is our help required? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly letter to go from through Barca. it. Whew. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, from the Grand Master. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say again? The Grand Master? Interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? <laughs> Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? That you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for ages. <laughs> Acting Grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. <laughs> it's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure, let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine! See you soon! Alright, take care now. We had the Diluc event at that time. Okay, of Ballads and Bruce, Act 1. So we're going to the Night Sophia. Let's see.
Okay. Cutscene straight away. Alright. Hmm. It looks like just about everyone's here. Okay, it's not a cutscene. Eh? <laughs> I hey it was. there, cutie. Paimon. I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep. We ran into Kaya near the Adventurers Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The Mika, truth would be the, written the, all over his face. The boy from the trailer? Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented Eula's in what team. he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Okay. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y yes Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Mika. Hello, <laughs> everybody. I am Mika. Surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> all right. To the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is... Please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe, and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <laughs> <sighs> um, may I continue? Just continue. Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light Northern of a stove. Most. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. Mm -hmm. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. Huh? The Fatui Harbinger known as... The Captain. The Captain? The one like a uh, knight... Knight armor. <laughs> uh, the Captain? Another Fatui Harbinger? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Okay. Open parenthesis. Open I rather parenthesis. suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. <laughs> okay. The man hides everything under the mask he wears. Yeah, the mask. So see. no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. <laughs> Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. <laughs> Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep to much better now, now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. Okay. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vineleza Fest Vine must be kicking Fest. off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, 
we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laserfest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, hmm. I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah, ha, 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 ha. His left, not mine. <laughs> His left, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. <laughs> Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. It's a cryo. I can see the vision. <clears throat> PPS. PPS. <laughs> I ran out of paper, Bruh. so I'll add this here. Okay. Lisa, oh, for the Lisa. following is a message for you. Uh, oh. Uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vine Lisa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vine Lisa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition, and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that break? They no, ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm. Who knows what that was about? But it must have been important. But, uh, Fatui Shmatui. The real <laughs> big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paimon wants to hear more. Hi, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Mm -hmm. Sounds good! Alright, let's go! Go to the Grandmaster's office. Hey, Jean. Ah, uh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lisa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa... <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Mondstadt's where our journey began, after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lisa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, of course. The Vine Lisa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Never experienced them. <laughs> Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the animal archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the animal archon, all right. <laughs> For this reason, Mondstatters call the western wind the returning wind. 
The Vinelesa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind coming day during the following year's Vinelesa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Richly bless. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. <sighs> but there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, mom scatters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. <sighs> All part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well. And the Vine Lesa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vine Lesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the Wind Carry Our Sentiments Back to Your Side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, uh, what, what was about? the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Razor. Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvingum. He never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupica, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, uh -huh. there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Time to Does give this the mean box. the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No, the connection between them goes back much further. Mm -hmm. Wow! Well, come on! Let's go find Razor! He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents! Hmm. Or not. Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one. Even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact yeah. with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? Oh I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. <laughs> okay. As his teacher, I have a duty to give him the best education and guidance that I can. I'll make sure I'm prepared by the time you get back. Go on now, cuties. I'll leave Razor in your hands. And you? Is there something else you would like to discuss? Oh, okay. There's more. <laughs> it was Expedition. good of Mika to bring the letter back all this way. 
Knowing that everyone is safe and sound is the best encouragement I could ask for. Still, I hadn't counted on the captain making an appearance. The Grand Master has a rather uh, unconventional way of describing things. But even then, I've never heard him give such high recognition to anyone before. If you ever encounter the captain on your own journey, be on your guard. He is oh not my. someone to be underestimated. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Mika tells me that rather than rejoining the expedition party, Grandmaster told him to return to his post in Eula's reconnaissance company after delivering the letter. Land surveyors are usually situated in the vanguard of an army on the move, and are tasked with exploring previously uncharted territory. Huh. It looks like the expedition must have entered into a much less intense phase. Have you had the chance to speak with Mika yet? Not yet. When he's with people he hasn't met before, he tenses up and stands bolt upright. I really wish he had a little more self-confidence. Is there something else you would like to discuss? There is still some preparation to do, but don't worry. Everything's on track. Actually, while we're on the topic, I have an assignment I'd like to give you. Namely, enjoy the festival to the fullest. That's the assignment. Any objections? Okay. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Goodbye. I wish you a very pleasant Vine Lisa Fest. Alright. Mm. Speak to me, uh. Uh, 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 Hi there. Um. You must be looking for Captain Kaya? Please, don't mind me. Just wanted to say hi. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, but. What? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya? Wh what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the Storm Terror incident, weren't you? Oh. Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right! And also the legendary Paimon! <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! You guys are so strong! I'm... I'm in awe! Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. All right, then. Aw, <laughs> he just left. Well, that's too bad. Paimo was going to ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Exploring? Okay. Well, what do you think? Glad you tagged along this time? <laughs> a little birdie told me that you'll be staying in Mondstadt for the Vinelesa Fest. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Ooh. Uh, can we interact with Lee somehow? <laughs> hey. Okay, um, just checking, it's been a while since I got here. Alright. I'm supposed to find Razor, Razor's yeah. Razor's usually around Wolvendom, right? Uh, how do you think he'll react after hearing about this? Let's find out. I see that true. Crazy huh? must be around. What is it? Electro energy? Hmm. Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of Electro and see where they lead. Okay. 
Okay. That way. Wait, what? I see the apple, but where's the trap? Oh, this. Okay. Electro traces lead deep into woven them. Let's keep going. Let me just uh get some seeds here. Okay. Oh, there he the is. last trap oh, draft. Is set. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. Draft is Diona's father. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? <laughs> it smells familiar. Friend from far away. Razor! <laughs> oh, and it's draft too. Are you two hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat Uncle catch Brown boars, Cat. protect everyone. <laughs> wow, Razor, this is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> You can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. But much talking. Very tired now. <laughs> yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. The letter. Oh? Um. I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want, don't to, know. want to know. Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Uh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his yeah, parents. Fear that... It's just that uh, his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Could be something else. Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Wait, but then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. Oh, what do you think? Hmm. Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on makes me feel much better about this whole thing. How about this? There's a plan? Okay. Okay, got it. Right, let's head back. We don't want to keep him waiting. Hey, Razor, so what are your thoughts? St 
still thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like being stabbed by a wolf hook. Varka? Hmm. Tall, very strong, likes to laugh. Yes, trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide... I want to go with you. To see Teacher. Hmm. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off, then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the, uh, fine laser fest starts. <laughs> Bye, Drax. See you again next time. Okay. Go back to the office. you already? Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is just a pile of junk. I want that there'd at least be a letter or something. Wolf. Uh, wolf something, some... What? What are these? Uh-oh. You don't think that, after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? <laughs> there is a scent. A scent? What kind? A scent. I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. Oh. <laughs> you still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm. This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait. Hey, look. This wine bottle is still half full. And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand. Uh, Must be thousand the one. wind wine. Oh, so it's a bottle of thousand wind wine? Teacher, you know? Of course. Thousand wind wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstatters ever learned to make. Or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each This all makes okay. it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Win wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. That must mean there's something pretty important about it. Oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open 
you want to raise it? Away. Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. All right. Let's see. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like. Many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. <laughs> That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, great idea! Will Venti be coming? Surely he will. Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for draft. <laughs> okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacol about human mother and human father. Great. See you at the opening ceremony. Wow. Wait for the wine laser fest. Two days As later. Razor's teacher, I'm so happy to see him taking this first step. And you must be tired from running around trying to find Razor. Why don't you rest here a while? I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Okay. Uh, two days later. Huh? Oh, this will take a while. Still not yet, right? What time? Eight to ten. Uh. Hold up. Right. Go to the venue. Where is it? Springvale. Let's go. Stars all around. Ooh, what? Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When Still wind coming day arrives. <laughs> We will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. Razor, <laughs> you're here already. So many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Who? Oh. Just some tone deaf bard. Thank but you. he's also Thank a know-it-all and loves nothing more than drinking. Talk to Venti, where is he? Ah, there you are. Hey, Tone Deaf Bard! Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon, during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But 
reading between the lines here. If one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey, Razor. How have you been? All right. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine. And the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... <laughs> well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. Not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the oh. barrels and store them away. Oh, this wait, one. Wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away. As we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank <laughs> you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine. A little sweet, but now <laughs> head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Uh, I'd even um, <laughs> an explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope. Paimon has absolutely <laughs> no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up mm -hmm. our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so <laughs> long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain! Uh, I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Oh, Freedom is the key here. It's not <laughs> as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again in two days? Let's say same place right here? Okay. I will remember. 
Is that the end? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's quite... Isn't, isn't that long, but... Alright. Oh. This must be the event. Autumn Crisis. Secret Forest Shadow. Must be a side quest. Eh? Yeah, High Wind Trial. Okay, there's a quest to do. And this one unlocks in 4 hours, okay. So, is it open now? Let's see. Okay, that's the event details. Okay, so Act 1 done, Act 2 not open yet, so... <laughs> Yeah, and I got some things to do here, I guess. I think this one will open up the... What you must do for each thing. So yeah, I'll do that in my own time. Eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to Venti a bit more. Ah, uh, good. I was hoping we might get to chat some more. Can I hear the poem again? Sure. You need a refresher? Okay, I'll perform the first half again. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. You can just see that from the trailer. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away, as we wait, wait, wait for a, wind for a day. windier day. Okay, what are your thoughts on the wine laser fest? I am fond of each and every one of Mondstadt's festivals, but if I'm honest, Vine Laser Fest has an extra special place in my heart. You know, the Animo Archon goes into a slumber after the west wind dies down, leaving the north wind to blow during the winter. Which means, this festival is the big feast before the winter slumber. About... Razor? I wouldn't worry yourself too much about him. Staying true to their journey and discovering joy and freedom for themselves is what Mondstatters do best. The same goes for you. You have to find the thing that makes you happy. <laughs> Mostly because your happiness is very important to me. Okay. See you around. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time and you'll find all the answers that you're looking for. Alright then. What? What, Paimon? God damn it. <laughs> oh, so these are the three. Okay. Golden. Oh no, this is uh, something else. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll play Act 2 when it's once it's unlocked. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time.